YouTube, YouTube. Back at you again with another video. <clears throat> Today, um, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, today we're gonna put in some bar in lever guards. Um, they're, I got them from overseas, obviously. Took quite some time to get here. We finally got here. And today we're gonna put them on the bike. Now in this video, I notice, um, especially like on like um, forums, with this bike, people have a hard time putting on bar in mirrors <clears throat> as well as anything on the bar end. Because on the inside of the bar, the handlebars, it's <clears throat> a, what is that called? It just keeps the handlebars from vibrating really, really bad. Making your fingertips go numb. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to show you a trick on how I get the lever guards installed. Maybe if you decide to go with bar and mirrors, which I've tried to do twice and failed miserably. Um, I'm going to put lever guards on the bike and take off my bar in protectors. Basically, what we have to do is... <clears throat> We have to take this off. But in order to take it off, when you try to turn this screw, the screw and the bar in both spin. Easy way to take this off, get the biggest Phillips screwdriver you can find. Oh, hold on. Let me not say the biggest. Get one that fits in here, but barely, like the, the biggest one. Because the more contact surface you have, the easier it is to take this screw out. Second, you got to get some pliers. I got some, some pretty big pliers that I'm going to use and a piece of cloth to go around this so I don't damage the bar end. Basically, what I did was I got some really big pliers, like I said, and I just got a piece of rag to wrap around the, the bar end as long as I can get access to this part here. And I have this little contraption. I mean, I couldn't find a, a screwdriver that was big enough, so I'm just going to use this and knock it right out of there. So basically, what you do is you put this in here and then you spin while holding that and it's going to take that screw right out and this bar is going to come right off. Let me do it real quick and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so just to show you that it's broken loose, if I spin this, it doesn't move. So just the screw is coming off. So let me just, I don't want it, the whole thing to fall, so uh, let me see. Yeah, I can't. So let me just take this bar in off and I'll show you the inside as to what's giving a lot of people a hard time as far as putting bar in mirrors on, these type, on this type of bike. Looks like it's broken, huh? All right, so if you look inside, there's like a ridge area, and then there's a, a, a smooth, flat area. And if you look on the actual barring weight, there's like a ridge area, and then there's a smooth area. So when you put it inside of here, when you, when you put it inside of here, this thing spins when you spin this. All right, so we're looking at this together at the same time. Let's take it out. Oh my god, I don't have a blade you can see me. Yes, I do. So let's open this up real quick. Take a look at what's inside, shall we? The packaging is not labeled or anything that says the bike. So this draws great concern. Alright. So this part goes on the outside, but if you look, it's completely flat. I need to have something in here to go into the, where the throttle cape, throttle portion is to give me space. So that way when I turn the throttle, it'll spin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna makeshift these to make this work with this on the bike so that when I install this, everything fits all together. All right, guys, so I got this out. And, yo, know, to be honest with you, it's just these pieces of rubber right here that holds it inside the bike. And then this outside clip keeps it from going in too far. But if you look at it, it's out. So the trick that I use is very, very simple. It's not, not hard at all. I took off the bar in. I put this screw back in just a little bit, a couple of turns, maybe. I'll actually demonstrate it in, in, in a couple of seconds. I just want you to see how I did this part. So I put it in like that a couple of turns and then I grab my 
trusty pliers, I clamp down on the screw and then, it's, and then I just pull this as hard as I can. And like I said, it's just rubber, there's no glue, there's no screws, there's no nothing holding this inside of the bar or the handlebar. So I'm gonna demonstrate how I do it on the, the clutch side, but I just want you to see what's on the inside of this side. So it's basically like this on the bike. So let's put the, the gas brake uh, clutch lever protector on and then we'll move over to the other side and I'll demonstrate how I took this off but I just want you guys to see how I install the lever guard all right so this is the interesting part so um, what I did was this is actually the wrong side but I want to show you something real quick whenever you're installing these these types of parts especially like something like this when you try to tighten this bolt down this will spin so a trick that I've learned a long time ago really really long time ago when it comes to stuff like this you get you a little bit of painters tape man it goes a long way because all you need is a little bit of friction for this to grab on and this to grab on and then it'll expand on its own the rest of the, the rest of the install is easy so I'm gonna just go one around on this one one around on this one and then I'll put it onto the bike and you'll see how easy it is to tighten down but if you don't like you don't have to do the painters tape um, some people, some some people, they put glue here and it expands and it works. Like they tighten it down a day later, a day later. But uh, I want to do the whole install today, and just like I said, a little bit of painters tape go go a very very long way. So let me show you guys what I mean. Let me do this this part real quick. I'm gonna show you, and then I'll put it on the bike, and then you guys will have an idea of what I'm talking about. All right. So when it comes to putting this together, wow, it comes with nano key. Um, what you want to do is this part. Clearly, we're gonna take off. Let me see if I'm gangster like that. Nope. So this comes off and then there's two washers. So the way this goes, the small washer goes like this. Because the small washer fits inside. I'll show you that again. So the small washer goes inside that hole. And then if you flip it on the other side, this washer fits perfectly here. Then you want to put the small one like this and then this part goes in like this because it's supposed to flare out this inside so let me put this on really quick and here in this metal this aluminum clean together like this it's cnc aluminum it'll sound like inexpensive quality all right so now i can take this over to the bike like i said put my painters tape because if you look this sliding like this it's not gonna grip anything, you know? But a little bit of that painter's tape, it wants to start to expand and this has nowhere to go. It's gonna grab onto this, it's gonna grab onto the bar end, to the bar itself, and then it's gonna get tight and as it expands, it's not gonna move. So however I leave this, it's gonna always be like that. So let's go over to the bike real quick and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so what I was trying to explain to you, you see how I just put just one round of painter's tape and then the same thing here? This is all you need. So now, if I put this on the bike, um, I don't know. This looks okay. I just thought it was going to be more this way. But I mean, I guess it's going straight is, is really good because it protects the entire side of the bike. Um, but as you can see, I still have fuel play. Um, it's right up against it. Let me see if I can zoom in and give you a really, really good angle. I can't. But, but there is no snag. There's no, no anything. Um, and it's really, really tight. Like, it's really, really tight. I don't, like, it's not moving. Um, <laughs> so the Allen key that it comes with, don't use it. Um, if you got an Allen key that'll give you more leverage, don't use it. Now, if you got a ratchet set with an Allen key, um, oh, let me give you the uh, size real quick. It's a five millimeter that you'll need in order to, to set it up. If you have a five millimeter, five millimeter, mil a meter, it'll be perfect. So um, let me put the red front cover on real quick. Uh, this piece is also a five millimeter and then we'll get a complete look of what this side of the bike looks like and then I'll show you how to take that inner piece out. Okay guys, just to, just to show you what it looks like, this is what it looks like on the bike. I don't know man, I'm starting to think I, should, I want the bike to be all red. Get rid of this white and black stuff. Um, but uh, all I did was just tighten this down um, and I put a little bit of Loctite 
on the inside set screw so it doesn't back itself out um, and yeah so that's it man no more barring weight and now we have a lever guard on this side so let me go over to the other side and set that up and I'll show you exactly how I pull it pull out that inside weight on this side so you guys have a better idea just a few turns Tighten this down on the end of the screw. Like that. And then I'm going to put my hand in and then pull. It's going to take a few tries, but I'll get it. Right here out. Yeah, I'm not gonna ever use this this piece. I'm never gonna put this back. I doubt it. Even if I decide to sell the bike, I'm not gonna put this back. Damn. Yo, look at that, dog. With with that being turned off, with those sitting like that, man, this bike is coming together nice. Tell me guys what you think, man. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Um, I'm very curious to hear what you guys think as far as how the bike is starting to come together. I really like how it looks. Um, don't get me wrong. But, yeah. I want to thank you guys for watching this Honda CBR 650R 2019-2020 lever guards install. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. <laughs> quick update it's been about two and a half weeks obviously since i've taken the stickers off it's been a while but i want to do a quick review on the lever guards there's an immense amount of vibration and the 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 clutch side bar the other one is fine because that one's that one it has a, a throttle tube so you don't feel as much vibration but on this side on the clutch side there is an immense amount of vibration so to, to give you guys a quick like review on getting this or not um, if you don't mind the vibration, yeah, go ahead, get them. You know, if you ever drop the bike, you can protect the levers and the bar. I mean, the, the, the bar itself. But if the vibrations will bother you, don't do it. That's just my opinion. Just want to give this quick review real quick. And I'm going to get back on the road and start riding.